Hi guys, it's Mallory back for I think you're Chapter 3. Chapter 3, Software. Today we're going to talk specifically about software reliability. So just the definition, um, software reliability is the ability of a computer program to perform its intended functions and operation in, a system, in the system's environment without experiencing a failure, which we know as a system crash. Software reliability is the probability of the software to work perfectly in a specified environment for a specified time. That we have a specific calculation used for a formula used to calculate the probability of a system crashing. It's calculated by the number of failing cases divided by the total number of cases under consideration. Using the formula, failure probability is calculated by testing a sample of all the available input states. For reliability testing, the data is gathered from various stages of the development, such as design and operating stages. Their tests are limited due to restrictions like cost of testing performance and time restrictions, but they provide statistical examples of the probability of a data software system to crash. And they're measured on three different criteria, mainly which are first, operating time, second, number of on and off cycles, and three, calendar time. Specific cases in which the software reliability was seen to fail. Um, first, we're going to talk about the year 2000 problem, which most of you know as Y2K. Um, in, the year in the year 1999, um, there was panic and uproar that when the clocks switched from, uh, from um, 1999 to 2000, that then um, that everybody's lives would be changed and that there would be computer um, widespread computer outages, electrical failures, and a, a lot of widespread things would come from this because the computers would read the 2000 as 19, uh, 1900 and it would go back from there. Uh, short story is that in the end, nothing really happened except for a few computer glitches but that were solved pretty rare, fairly easily. Denver Airport baggage system. Um, it was originally planned to automate and handle the baggage of the entire Denver International Airport, but the software of the system provided to be um, far more complex than the sum had originally believed. The problems ended up building and building up until there was a widespread failure. Um, it resulted in the complete airport sitting idle for 16 months while engineers worked on it. It, um, it had wide economic problems and ended up with the shutting down of the airport. So this is where Software reliability highlights how hard it is for computers to work in the real world. Cancer Institute in Panama City. Um, in 2000, a series of accidents, at least 28 patients received overdoses and 18 later died from a computer miscalculating radiation doses. A method used by doctors to get around the limitation in software resulted in the miscalculation of doses. So um, by law, the doctors were required to manually confirm the radiation doses of the treatment, but they didn't, which resulted in 18 deaths. Um, as a result, two of the doctors were um, sentenced to four years in prison. This is just seen as another way that computer failure doesn't work as well in the real world with complex software without human intervention. last case study that we need to talk about is the Mars Climate Orbiter. Um, the Mars Climate Orbiter was designed to land on Mars and study the Martian surface, but it was destroyed as it attempted to land because NASA believed it entered the atmosphere at a higher speed than originally intended. Um, the atmosphere proved too hard for the um, orbiter to land on. In the, in the end, the official accident report discovered that some of the software Developers for, for the project had used metric tons, which were measured in newtons, while others used empirical tons, which were measured in pounds. Through the simple mis uh, miscommunication, there was a major software reliability issue, and it resulted in the loss of a $327 million probe. And um, a lot of reliability issues came from this, so NASA has had to streamline the way that they use their 
um, different types of calculations. So those are just three ways that um, uh, specific case studies that are seen of software liability. On the ITGS exam, it is really important to know different cases of software liability as it is a main social ethical issue that we'll have to discuss on the different papers. So through this, we see that all the way ranging from the Y2K problem to um, a simple um, software reliability issue in a Denver airport, shutting it down for 16 months and then ending in um, National Cancer Institute actually resulting in deaths of patients and Mars Orbiter resulting in vast economic losses for NASA. We see a lot of software liability issues and how complex software can't relate as well to the real world as it would on paper. Videos by Mal. <laughs>